Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another perfume haul. Um, so in my other videos, um, I've been mostly doing perfume videos. So if you're interested in that type of content, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. Today, I have a whole bunch of fragrances from Zara. I have four in total. So if you've been watching my videos recently, I've been picking up a ton of fragrances from Zara. Um, I uh, like I've had like a few prior to this uh, recent like thing I'm doing with <laughs> Zara. I've just been on like a Zara binge, uh, Zara perfume binge. Um, and I've, I've owned Zara fragrances in the past, not a few, just a, just a couple here and there. But recently I've just, I started really liking the Jo Malone fragrances. So that's kind of what kicked off this like spree of Zara fragrances. But today I promise it's probably going to be the last one in a while. But um, I picked up, so I've been getting a lot of like limited edition ones. But I said, why don't I pick up? the ones from like their regular collection that have been around forever that don't go anywhere. Um, so I picked up, I'll show you. So I picked up this one, which is Zara Ritual Medictive that everyone and their mother knows about this fragrance. And um, then I also picked up these three guys, Femme, Red Vanilla and Wonder Rose. That's what's gonna be in today's video. So let's just jump right into it. And then if you are interested, I didn't want to make a separate video about um, like some skincare that I'm loving. So I'm going to talk about that at the end. So stay tuned if you're interested. Um, but let's just try, just jump right into these. So these guys, um, I picked up in 30 ml. So I wanted full size because they only do their travel sizes in like roller balls or they're very hard to find so i was happy that these signature lined ones um weren't available just in the big full size which is 100 mils they were also available in 30 like the smaller full size and i believe also in 50 but i didn't i decided i'm just going to pick up the little ones um the ritual medictive only came in the one size so that's why i picked up the big one but um, I'm going to save that one for last because it's it really is really like the hype is so real. But anyways, let's enough rambling. I'm going to just right, just jump right into this. I'm going to start with Wonder Rose. So like I said, this is a 30 ml eau de toilette. Not that that might mean anything. The notes in this, because it says on the back, I have it right here, are pear, red berries and vanilla. It says everlasting bliss for sweet and not so sweet days. And these... 30 mls are $12 a piece, so that's not bad. Okay, how do, oh, I don't, do I have my scissors ready for this? These Zara boxes are just impossible. You have to like rip them open. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I was surprised because of the pink bottle box. Sorry, I thought the bo bottle was going to be pink, but it's just a black. And it says Wonder Rose. So let's go ahead and spray that. Um, I only have four fragrances today. I don't have a lot of arm um, space. So we're going to do the hands and the wrists, I suppose. So, um, okay, we'll do the hand, I guess. We'll start here. Okay, so I didn't think that I would like this as much as I do. Only because... Um, like this one out of all the ones that I've gotten today aren't, isn't one that, I mean, I, a lot of people do like this one, but it, I haven't heard anything like super incredible about this, but um, I think it's really nice. It's very, it's a very pleasant surprise actually. I would say this is kind of in the Burberry Her family. I wouldn't say it's a dupe or anything like that, but like it could be possibly a flanker, a new fr flanker of Burberry Her, you know? I don't find it overly sweet. It has like a florally kind of softness. Um, almost like, I know this wasn't in the notes, but it's almost like I smell lilac. Because what are the notes? Pear, red berries, and vanilla. I mean, Zara's infamous for not posting all of the notes um, for the fragrances, but 
yes i feel like there's definitely like a lilac because of the, the it's got that florally softness that like lilac um springs to mind to me um but i think this is an easy pick for for example running errands maybe working from home um like etc i feel like this is perfect for spring and it's very fresh so that's wonder rose okay next fragrance we're going to talk about is femme it's also a 30 ml eau de twilight also retails for 12 dollars in a white box so who knows what we're gonna get since that one was black in a pink box and again i don't know if i should just jump over and grab some scissors from over there okay let's see okay so this one's actually white so these are cute together side by side although now that i kind of have them side by side this liquid the juice is kind of a soft pink okay so this is femme so i guess we'll do it on the other hand so this perfume reminds me of doers hypnotic poison which i own and i love um but this is not as strong so if you like hypnotic poison, um, but you find it's too strong, maybe for the particular occasion, this might be a good option. It's nice and creamy. Yeah, I would, I would, I would go for this one probably for like as a summer version of of hypnotic poison, like because I like to wear hypnotic poison in like the fall winter time, but this would be perfect for like spring and summer. So this is great. I love this one as well. Oh my goodness. Two winners so far. Awesome. Okay. So that's them. And then last from the little 30 mLs, also Eau de Toilette, is a red vanilla. Looks like this. Oh, so on the top of these boxes. Oh, okay. So, okay. So Wonder Rose is supposed to be from the day collection. The Femme is weekend collection. And then we have um, red vanilla from the evening collection so there you go if you're looking for like special okay or if you like follow that kind of rule of thumb sorry look at this I just totally totaled this box okay so this is red vanilla in a black box with oh I didn't read you the notes of them okay them said notes of peony vanilla and musk warm yet smooth spirit ready to walk through fire whatever that means okay and then this one, it has like a nice black, uh, black and red kind of detailing. This one set, uh, these are notes of black currant, iris, and vanilla. It says for the most audacious woman within herself, including a final tangle or waltz you choose. Sometimes I don't understand what they're talking about, but that's fine. Okay, so let's spray this. Oh, I love this one. Okay, I would wear this probably like most days to work. I think this is rather inoffensive, very pleasant. I would compare this to um, Le Vie Belle from Lancome, but this one seems overall softer. Again, very like a toned down version, kind of like Femme was with Hypnotic Poison. This is the same for Le Vie Belle. Um, I think it's, mm, it, maybe the black, what is it? It's not black currant. This smells like black currant, but it, it's, oh, is it black currant? Yes, it is black currant. Sorry, I was reading the other box and I was like surprised that there's not black currant. Um, yeah, this one does have black currant. Um, so despite it being described as night fragrance, actually, I would probably, this would be like my go-to day scent. Um, I feel like this would be easy to wear, very comforting. So yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, for my personal um, preference, this is not like an evening fragrance. This is more of a day fragrance, but it's, it's nice. Okay, so that's red vanilla. And then last but not least, we have, um, Rich Warm Addictive from the tobacco collection, which, the reason it took me so long to find this is because this is marketed as a men's fragrance. This is in the men's section. So I never even got to this, but when I got my hands on this one, and this was also an odor toilet, 100 mils. This retails for $26, so not bad at all. How do I open this? Down here. Oh, 
Thank God I'm not keeping these boxes because they're terrible. Oh, something fell. Oh, that was just the little. Okay, so this is the bottle. Rich Woman Addictive. Rich Woman Addictive, not and. <laughs> okay, so. All right, let's spray this on here. Okay, hope it's nice as the one in the store. Sorry, I gotta move my sleeve down. So this is very similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, but this is warmer. Um, okay, well, I don't know if these ones list the notes. Let's see. If not, I'm gonna link it down below. Okay, I'm gonna read you the description. Uh, it's kind of lengthy and small, <laughs> but uh, maybe the notes are in there somewhere. So it says, the night has spread its wings over the valley. The coal has almost finished its smoldering within the fireplace and the coolness of the morning is about to appear from behind the hills. But a rich, warm and addictive feeling of past adventures will stay in your memory for a long time. Okay, useless, but that's fine, okay. Um, so what I smell, I don't know if these are the exact notes, again, I'm gonna link them down below, is like dark cherry, tobacco, and like a, a warm and yummy vanilla. Um, I think I read that this had honey, but I don't smell any honey. Um, I think this bottle is nice, I, it feels nice in the hand. Um, but like the name says, this really is rich, warm, and addictive. So love that. Okay. So that's the final one. Now, if I were to rank these, definitely number one, I'm going to say, hold on. I'm going to say femme is number two. I like that. And then I'm gonna say, I like Wonder Rose. This one surprised me. This is number three. And then I'm gonna say Red Vanilla in fourth place. Not that it's bad, um, but like, I know it's marketed as an evening fragrance and for me that it's just not an evening fragrance. Anyways, so that is all the fragrances I have for you today. Now, I also wanted to, I was gonna do a separate video, but um, I don't think it's worth another video. Just wanted to mention some skincare that I'm really loving. Um, I have five products and um, three of them are new that I've never mentioned on this channel before. And two are fragrant fragrances, um, skincare items that I have talked about on this channel when I first got them. And honestly, they're so amazing that I just wanna kind of give you an update and tell you about that. Okay, so let's start with those. So the first fragrance for fragrance, First skincare item, I'm about to finish this. And I'm, a, I'm not about to finish all of them, but for the most part, I am about to finish a lot of them. So I just thought, let me just share with you before I get rid of it and whatnot and I forget. So this, I got like, I don't know, I've had this now for a while and I'll show you. This is a big um, item and look, I'm almost done. And this was so good and I'm so, I wanna recommend this product so much because this is from Avalon Organics. So if you're looking for a clean product, but you're also looking for something very affordable, this is it. And this is the Intense Defense Renewal Cream with Vitamin C. Oh my gosh, this, I just didn't really think this was gonna do much, like the vitamin C part of it, but it's really brightened up my skin so much. So the vitamin C in here, I don't know how concentrated in it is because uh, what I've always heard about vitamin C is that it needs to be very potent and concentrated and preferably in like a serum form for it to be effective at all. But look at this, but, and you know, it's typically very expensive to get that type of concentration of vitamin C. So Avalon Organics with this vitamin C renewal cream, they've done such an amazing job. Um, it is certified organic. And um, so if you're looking for, like I said, a clean cream, ugh. A green, green, a green or a clean product um, that's affordable. And for myself, it's been very effective. I've definitely noticed the difference. This is a big recommendation. And then another um, product that I think I got at the same time as that one, but this one I have tons of. 
well, not tons of, but I mean, I made, I made a, a dent in there, is the Elizabeth Grant um, Azuline mask. It's, like, it's supposed to be sensitive sensitive with Azuline or a true, I don't know. Anyways, I've been using this um, like as an overnight mask, like a sleep mask, and then I wash it off in the morning and my skin just feels fantastic. And even while I'm sleeping, my skin feels so good. So I actually got this before I even like developed, like I, I might've had eczema, but not on my face ever. But recently I've had it and I find this to be amazing. So if you have either eczema or sensitive skin or like dryness, like I do, this is such a good mask. And I don't even know if you're supposed to wear it overnight, but I wear it overnight and it's amazing and I love it. So that's that. And then the three new products that I've been using that I've been loving and I was like, I need to get on here and tell people about this. This is from Pacific, another clean brand. It's fairly um, affordable. This is the Coconut Probiotic um, Water Rehab Cream. So this is supposed to boost hydration and fight a skin hangover. It's with coconut water and probiotic technology. It says party then rehab now for all skin types. This has been amazing. And this is like um, very like light. Um, it's got, it does have a, a bit of a coconut scent. So it's very light though. And it, it's only at first when you apply it, it's not bad. Um, but I love this because it's so hydrating yet it's so lightweight. Um, so this is great, especially like after serum, like I know when I'm layering skincare, I don't want it to be like too heavy, even though I do need the hydration. So I highly recommend that. And then, oh my goodness, this, so I got this, uh, from Sephora as a gift with purchase. So this is just a tiny one, but I will be purchasing the full size of this, this is just four ml, but I'm just finishing up using this, this is from Biosounds, and this did last me quite a bit. This is the Squalane Peptide Eye Gel. It's so good. It's supposed to visibly reduce puffiness and dark circles, and I totally find that. So love this eye cream. And then another eye cream, same thing. Um, this is just like the deluxe size, and I will also, you know what, between these two, I, I think I would be more inclined to purchase the full size bottle of this. And this is not a bad size because this, oh, is this? Oh, I'm not sure actually. So this is from Strivectin. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Intensive Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles Plus. It's so good. I'm definitely going to be getting a full size of this. It is quite pricey. It's like a hundred something dollars. And I don't know how big the eye cream is. It's either, I think it's like 15 milliliters so this is like half the size this is seven so you this is like half already and this has been lasting me a while and this is honestly it's so good um not just for like the eye area but with me what i struggle with is the 11s like the glabellas i think they're called this actually um on the instruction says that you you can put it on there and it's so good so i've been noticing a difference so this is going to definitely help me keep the botox at bay for at least another year hopefully so that's everything guys again this is the big winner and this one too highly recommend these two thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video